was the young, naive medical intern who became a seasoned doc in the ER. And it's, a, and it's a good thing he's used to coming through in the clutch because now he has to save mankind from alien invaders in the sci-fi hit Falling Skies. Please welcome to the show, Noah Wiley. Just like the stud I remember, we, <laughs> we played softball together. The Dodgers used to have an annual softball, and he, Noah was the flashy, leather popping, golden glove uh, infielder. I was the struggling, sluggish. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I something. remember it differently. <laughs> you still playing ball? You still? You know, I stopped playing those games. There was one game at Dodger Stadium where Tony Danza almost hit me with a pitch. And I thought, maybe these guys are taking this a little serious. <laughs> and then I was playing right field where they put everybody who can't play. And, uh, and like Lou Ferrigno or Billy Crystal hit a fly ball to me and I thought, I got this. And I thought, no, I don't. I got to charge in. So I go running in. I went, oh, it's over my head. So I go running back. I go, no, it's in I go running in. And I go running back. And finally, I reach back and I catch it right in the end of my mitt, and I thought that may be the greatest catch in the history of baseball. Yeah. Yay! It's still on ESPN. But then they replay it on the Diamond Vision, and I look like a Keystone cop running back. <laughs> if I just stayed in the same place, it would have gone right there. We always look better up here. Yeah, we do. <laughs> yeah, we do. Now, you grew up right here in the middle of Hollywood. Did that and make then... you know you wanted to be in show business? Uh, I was, you know, one of those latchkey kids who spent most of my time in movie theaters after school. I went to elementary school right off Sunset Boulevard, and uh, there used to be a movie theater there called The Oriental, where the Guitar Center is now. Mm -hmm. And you could see two movies for $2. So that was sort of, that was my church, that was my sanctuary, that was my form of entertainment, that was my babysitter. Uh, so yeah, I just sort of, whether I knew consciously that I wanted to be involved in it or not, when that decision came, it had been a huge part of my life up to that point anyway. And your parents were not in the business? No, no, my mom uh, was a nurse. My stepfather's in the business, uh, and he's been very supportive, but no, no, not really. So how they take it when you said, I want to be an actor? You know, like most parents would, they, they wanted me to have something secure to fall back on in case it didn't work out, but gradually my hospital started paying <laughs> me better than my mother's hospital. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. You know, that right quick. Did you ever have any of that uh, on ER? Do you ever have any of that squeamishness that I was talking about? Are you pretty tough in the uh, OR? You know, ER? for the most part, it's all, you know, it's latex and stuff. Occasionally, for reality, uh, we would bring in pig intestines and things like that oh. for the, some of the surgical scenes. And under the hot lights after about eight, nine hours, that can yeah. get a little oh. gamey. Lunch. Oh. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> no, I, and I'm, I'm more squeamish about my own bloodletting and pain than I am with somebody else's. For some reason, I, I'm one of those guys that gets kind of cool in those situations. I mean, people know you so, you've, you've you know, done so many things, but people do know you, obviously, that was a seminal role for you. Do yeah. people ever, do, first of all, do people still call you Dr. Carter, or do they ever kind of mistake you for a real doctor? Uh, I get it, I still get a lot of Dr. Carter calls. You know, that, that fan base is getting older and older now. <laughs> uh, Mostly uh, about arthritis now. <laughs> <laughs> I took my kids to the uh, to a Justin Bieber concert when I was bucking for Father of the Year award, <laughs> and, and my son was sitting there with my daughter and as well. And these young girls came up to me and they said, "Excuse me, are you Noah Wiley?" Mm -hmm. And I thought, "You see that kid?" "Yes, I am." And they went, <laughs> "Mom, it is him!" Oh! I don't even want to think about how close I came to losing you today. 